How good does this car look? It's the new BMW 8 Series Grand Coupe and in this Car Gurus UK review we're going to take a look under its skin and see if the overall appeal is as good as its glamorous styling. If you like this video make sure you comment and tell us below and also make sure you subscribe to the Car Gurus UK YouTube channel to keep up to date with all of our latest video reviews. Rather than get bogged down as to whether this car is indeed a coupe, as the name suggests, I want to instead focus on its size. It is simply enormous. It is a full 23 centimetres longer than the two-door 8 Series Coupe. And it's about the same length, or if you want to be really geeky, it's two centimetres shorter than BMW's flagship 7 Series. And not just that, it has the widest track of any BMW currently on sale. So let's just say it is not for the nervous parkers. Perhaps what we have here isn't just a larger and more practical version of the 8 Series Coupe, but also a more handsome alternative to the 7 Series. Far more handsome, in fact. I mean, just think about how the latest 7 Series looks, then think about this car. Now, the reason why BMW has stretched this car so much and given it a much longer wheelbase is to create more room in the back and also make it easier to access. It's not as spacious as a BMW 7 Series, but I do have enough room back here. The roof is higher than in the 8 Series Coupe, but because it slopes so elegantly, it does eat into headroom slightly. That said, the seat backs are slightly angled, which minimises the impact this has. You'll also feel very cocooned in the back of an 8 Series. It really does have the feel of a coupe about it, albeit one with extra doors. I also want to point out you can use this middle seat if needed. BMW calls it a 4 plus 1 seating layout. It's not particularly comfortable and you have more than a transmission tunnel to straddle if you do want to have your legs either side of it or you have to kind of sit a bit wonky like this. So it's really for occasional use, but useful to have. As is the fact you get 20 more litres of boot space than in the coupe. In fact, with its 440 litre luggage capacity, the 8 Series Grand Coupe can carry three sets of golf clubs in the boot. Being able to fold the rear seats in a 40-20-40 split means you can also transport longer loads if needed. If you were to only concentrate on the rear part of this car, you may question whether it is an 8 Series at all. However, at the front, from this pillar onwards, it is exactly the same as the 8 Series Coupe. And the view from the driver's seat is also the same. I think we can consider that a good thing because this interior is simply gorgeous. I mean, look at this infotainment and gear selectors. They look like ornaments. BMW does do good interiors, but the quality and design of this one is simply outstanding. And because it starts with M Sport, you get leather seats, leather on the dashboard, electrically adjustable seats, four Zen climate control and heads up display. We still aren't quite convinced that the digital dial display is as uncluttered as it should be, but BMW's infotainment system with its 10.25 inch screen continues to be among the best in the business. As part of the infotainment system, you get BMW's intelligent personal assistant, which is here to respond to your every whim. Watch this. Hey, BMW. Hello. What can I help you with? I really want to go and drive this thing. Can we skip to that part of the video, please? Okay. Wow, it worked. Well, it's here on the move that I really start to fall in love with the 8 Series Grand Coupe because it's just so well balanced. It's got the perfect blend of GT and sports car. In fact, it's like a stiffer Rolls Royce. It's cocooned and refined, so you never really feel like you're in a rush. Yet, if you need to be, you can step on it and the car responds brilliantly. The engine lineup consists of the 840i and 840d, which are six cylinder petrol and diesel engines, and a twin turbo V8 called the 850i, and an M8 Grand Coupe sits at the very top of the range. 
Today I'm in the 840i, which is essentially the entry level model to the 8 Series Grand Coupe. Not that there's anything entry about its performance. It goes from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 5.2 seconds. And if you select Sport, it stiffens the suspension and tells this gearbox to hold on to the ratios for just a little bit longer to give a real sense of urgency to its performance. With 340 horsepower, 369 pound-foot of torque and six cylinders, this turbocharged engine has the performance and the soundtrack to truly entertain. And its dual character is amazing. Smooth and effortless one minute, urgent and exciting the next. It really handles well too. Despite being around 70 kilos heavier than the 8 Series Coupe, BMW has tuned it to still feel agile when you want it to. It's still a big heavy car, so you can't throw it around with abandon. However, if you're smooth with the controls and you've got a wide flowing road, it really is a pleasure to drive. And it has tons of grip. As with the 8 Series Coupe, the steering is well weighted, but lacks a little bit of feel. Most Grand Coupes have all wheel drive, but the 840i is also available with just rear wheel drive. This is one of the reasons why the 840i is cheaper than the equivalent 840d diesel. Although, let's be honest, at just shy of £70,000 before any options have been added, it is quite an expensive car. And what's so telling about how good the Grand Coupe is that even at £70,000, what it offers, it still seems quite good value. If you're seriously considering buying one of these, then we'd also recommend you take a test drive in a Porsche Panamera, which is another very fine four-door GT slash sports car. But in terms of BMW's current portfolio of luxury saloons and SUVs, the BMW 8 Series Grand Coupe is probably the finest. As you can tell, I rather like it. Would you take an 8 Series Grand Coupe over a Porsche Panamera or over a two-door 8 Series? Let us know in the comments. Please also do subscribe and turn on notifications to keep up with future videos from the Car Gurus UK YouTube channel. And remember, when it comes to finding your next car, you can easily find great deals from top-rated dealers at cargurus.co.uk. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.